Hi everyone, Very Vague here, and in this quick tutorial I'm going to show you how we can take a garment set up in Marvelous Designer with multiple materials and seams, and bake this into a single UV map image ready for use in any 3D software. In my case, we'll be using Blender. I'll also show you how we can edit this UV map in Photoshop and add extra detail to our garment such as logos, patterns and anything in between. So I'm starting off with just this simple long sleeve t-shirt, which I'll link the garment file for download in the description below. And to begin with, I've separated this out into three separate materials, which will make it easier to edit each one when I take this into Photoshop. Feel free to add more or less depending on how detailed you want to get, but I found a good rule of thumb is to give a different material for each section or split line in your garment. This way it will be easier to distinguish between them on our UV map in Photoshop. One detail we will want to also separate when creating our UV map is the top stitching. So I'm just going to add in some stitching by using the segment top stitch tool and then dragging over all the patterns I want to add stitching to. Then we'll go into our top stitch settings and adjust the stitch type and thickness to our liking before giving it a unique colour that will stand out from the other materials. In this case, I'm just going to use black which should do the trick. Once we're happy with our colour and garment setup, we're going to go ahead and change from simulation mode in the top right hand corner to the UV editor option. Next we'll pop up the quick menu and select set UV from pattern alignment and then do the same again, this time selecting fit UV to unified 0 to 1. This will just organise our UV map so it matches how we've set up our garment in the 2D pattern window. Now let's export this as an OBJ, which will also save out a copy of our baked UV map along with it. So you can just go ahead here and match your settings to mine. Make sure to uncheck the select all graphics and trims option if you don't want to export the top stitching as a 3D object, which will drastically increase the file size and polygon complexity of your OBJ. Then we can adjust the size of the texture to our liking. In my case, I'm going for an 8K resolution, so I'm just going to change this to 8000. So now if we open up Blender and import our OBJ, we can see we get a nice clean result with all the textures and seams baked in with no additional unnecessary geometry. Now we can take this into Photoshop and start playing around with textures and colours. So the first thing we'll want to do is separate each of our materials by using the colour range tool. This will allow us to select on one colour and then create a mask from this which will apply to separate folders. Now whatever colour or gradient we put inside our desired material folder, it will display accordingly on our UV map. We can then take this a step further and start adding in more complex images like patterns and position them to our liking. Trim details such as collars and elastic cuffs can really help add some photorealism to our garment once we're ready to render it. Once we're happy with this, we'll go ahead and save out a PNG of our new image texture. We'll then simply replace the existing image texture set up in our Blender material with the new one we just created. And now we should be able to see our updated UV map on our long sleeve in 3D. Next I just added in a couple of area lights and then proceeded to edit my material a bit more in the shader editor until I was happy with it. To set up the metallic finish, I created a mix shader between our existing principal BSDF shader and a new metallic shader with the factor on the mixing node set to a black and white image of one of the masks we set up in Photoshop. And that's it guys, you can apply this workflow to pretty much anything you create in Marvelous Designer to the 3D application of your choice. And I find it helps a lot with adding just that extra touch of detail that can really take your renders and designs to the next level. Thanks for watching everyone, and feel free to leave any questions in the comments below, cheers.